Tonight, now former police chief Jeffrey Blackwell says he's ready to sue the city after being fired. And good evening. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palella. We have team coverage for you tonight on this decision that rocked City Hall today. We begin with WLWT News 5's Emily Wood live with the battle lines being drawn tonight. Emily. Cherie, there are drastically different opinions with how Blackwell handled the community externally and how he handled his employees internally. Today, the public made it clear they support Blackwell, but others say they can no longer stand behind him. A standing ovation for Jeffrey Blackwell as he sat in council chambers hours after he was fired. His supporters angry with Mayor John Cranley and City Manager Harry Black. What if we put you on a 90 day plan to increase education, to increase health care? You understand what is happening in our city. But I could never get the support of John Cranley or Harry Black, and because I've never had their support, ever. I was never able to command the department the way it should have been led. Even members of council not in favor with how Cranley and Black handled the situation. This has been bad theater here today, Mr. Mayor. This could have been handled a lot better. We could have shown a lot more respect. We could have had a transition Thank that you. is meaningful and not tainted. But voices were silenced when police specialist Scotty Johnson addressed the internal issues he claims forced employees to emotionally break down at work. I'm in complete agreement with this change. It has nothing to do with race. It had everything to do with, unfortunately, a rank and file that was barely hanging on. In addition to unprecedented low levels of morale and failed leadership, the city manager says the assessment makes it clear why Blackwell is no longer in charge. He verbally abused and insulted staff. He disregarded the chain of command, which negatively affected communications inside the department. Recently promoted assistant chief Elliot Isaac has been appointed and sworn in as interim chief. The mayor says while there will be a national search for a new chief, he hopes Isaac will apply. Reporting live downtown at City Hall, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. All right, Emily, thank you. And a memo to the Marianne Council members. City Manager Harry Black detailed the results of a climate assessment. Now, the assessment of morale among officers was done a little earlier this summer when police were trying to get a handle on the spike in gun violence. The dozens of pages also take aim at Blackwell's personal behavior. Now, one issue referenced multiple times self promotion and what others saw as a, quote, unprofessional. Professional obsession with publicity. Harry Black's memo includes an example of, quote, Mr. Blackwell taking selfies along the procession route of murdered officer Sonny Kim. And at another point, the memo claims Blackwell used his position to get tickets to sporting events from then commander of the Central Business District, Paul Brocksterman.